Hallelujah. We thank God for bringing us to another month in the year 2024, April. This is the month God has established for us as our month of financial growth. As a matter of fact, God wants us to grow in all areas of life. But for Christ's image assembly, God has designed this month for us as a month of financial growth. We know money is a defense. As faith is a currency of heaven, money is a currency of the world. Therefore, everyone needs money. But the truth is that the love of money can bring person across purpose with God. While it's good to have money, we should be cautious of the danger in loving money. And that's why even as God has said this is a month of financial growth, we understand our financial growth is meant to strengthen the purpose we are created for. So as a Christian, we trust God for growth in every area area, including finance, because he has promised us in Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18, said, I you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get well, that they may establish covenant which is for to your fathers as it is this day. That means it's God that gives us a capacity to get well. And when you get that capacity, you have to lay your hand on something. Because God said, I will bless the work of your hand. But the difference between you and the person that God the capacity is that you now possess the great to make what you lay your hands upon prosper. So the foundation is gone. And that's why in that Deuteronomy 8, 18, it says, And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth. So your foundation in getting wealth should be gone. Your own part is to lay your hands on something. It's when you lay your hands on something that that power to get wealth will be activated. And that's why I'm praying. As we go into this month of April, our month of financial growth, I pray that God will touch your finances. Many of you have been trusting God, who believe in God, and you have been working in the principles that God laid down for finances. The Bible says, whatever you lay your heart upon shall prosper. And that's why I pray from now on, anything you've been laying your heart upon that were not prospering before, let them start prospering. In the name of Jesus, any enemy that is attacking your finances, I pray that they are paralyzed now in Jesus' name. I pray for grace to get well. Come upon you as you retain God in your knowledge. As you continue to have the less privilege, as you continue to pull other people up from poverty, as you continue to support the work of God, I pray that God will activate in your life that power to get wealth in the name of Jesus. God will prosper you and make you a blessing to your generation. And as God lifts you up, continue to prosper you, that prosperity will just be instrument in your hands to achieve God's purpose. It shall not be your master in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with you. And that's why I'm wishing you a wonderful, prosperous April 24. Happy new month.